the Holes of the Benefice magazine of July 2019 for the parities of the United Benefice of Holes of the Bidro, Holocoon, Blyworthy, with Pen Crens Week. Mission Community Prayer, Lord of the Church, hear our prayer for the Holes of the Mission Community. Set our hearts on fire with love for you. Claim our worship and wealth, our abilities and our time, that we be worthy stewards of all that you have given. Save us from complacency and fear of new ways. Inspire us with vision. Make us a powerhouse of prayer, community, loving service, faithful witness to your kingdom. As we grow daily in and through Christ. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. From the rectory, celebrate, let's celebrate. Yes, this is the month of Benefice is one of celebration. It starts on the eve of July, on the 30th of June, which is the fifth Sunday of the month. We have gathered our smallest church home for the Benefice service. This is led by the Archbishop Deacon Mark. So if you should read this before you make an effort to go to the surface, so that this little, this small congregation knew they were supporting and part of our family. Celebrations then move to Holsley, with St Peter's Fair Week. It starts with a civil service on Sunday the 7th of July at 6pm. Then on Wednesday, July 10th, the clock strikes 12 midnight. We have the main event, presenting the pretty new maid, the new pretty maid, at the church tower door. Who will it be this year? Let's hope for better weather for the town and church than we had recently, but it's a day of festivity regardless. It also means that from then till the Saturday there will be an expedition of personal collections in the church. We take time to go and see them. Then on Sunday the 14th, the closing day, the fair week, there is a Sunday service in the square at 11am, led by Holsbury District Christians together. Celebrations continue by travelling down the road to play with me, where they have both the celebration of St. Swithin, who is a patron saint, and yes, it's important that it is a day with no rain, if believe the legend. Though I think we have all the rain before, and this year. That is, on the Sunday the 14th, then on the following weekend, on the 20th and 21st, they have their flower festival, a gift day to do, so do go and see it either on a Saturday or Sunday, and delight in the beautiful arrangements. Thank God for his gift of nature. There'll be teas and cakes during both days, outside the time of the service. Then on Bridge Row, on to Bridge Row, and the village July is carnival time. That is towards the end of the month, July 28th, July, to Saturday, July, August the 3rd. Though the church is not actively involved during the week, they and their fellow Christians from the Methodist Church hold a service of blessing on the Cardinal Queen. Now for Penn's Crens Week, has no set celebration day, but is giving a general celebration that all their refurbishment is finished, their church is waterproofed, and this ki- there is a, and has a kitchen area and heating. It also wait the date for re- re-dedication, but it's still a time to celebrate. As Christians, we have much to celebrate in all God has done for us. So let us be thankful, join with one another, and give a hearty praise to God for all that have given and done for us. Mary, read out. News from the churches in our benefice. St. Peter, St. Paul, Holsbury. By Bob Beckford. Chris Coffee Morning. This joint event with, with St. Patrick, Hallocoom, took place on Wednesday, June the 12th. Big thank you for, for, to everyone who helped to make this a success. A special thank you to Kath Dooling for organising the event. We raised... F- Four hundred and twelve and sixty pence, which we be sharing equally between the two churches. As soon as we get set, get the dates confirmed, the next coffee morning 
We'll let you know when it is. Afternoon tea at the rectory. On a warm, very warm and sunny oh, Saturday, June 22nd, we enjoyed a very pleasant afternoon tea on the rectory lawn. It was early in the year than last year's event, so this time there's no bevered with boss looking for the strawberry jam. We're very grateful to Mother Elizabeth, husband Mick, for letting us use their lawn. I thought it was their home, and not really a public park. We have even more fortunate, because the lawn had been used the day before. For another event, the large McCree, that had been in use, was left up for us. Though intended for use in the event of rain, we actually were glad of it, so we could have some shade. Thank you for everyone who came along, and many of our readers who donated their time, prizes and food. We made a profit of £321, which I'm sure our treasurer would be very pleased with. Some of you may be wondering, wondered, wondered who the young man was at the event, taking notes. Well, he was Sly, a student from Netherlands, be staying in the of working on his university project, which has, is to do with market research and the social aspect of church. Tree fell in the churchyard. Well, the timber had been tidied up and stacked at the back of the churchyard. It's a common practice they used to leave the wood from a fallen or prune tree for nature. The trees have been surveyed, and there is work to be done to many of them. It's mostly trimming branches. This work will have to go to a tender. I imagine it'll be some while before we see anything happen. Sadly, it looks like five gravestones have been damaged, but that's far less than we initially thought. Considering the size of the limb that fell, they may have been, will be, these will be made safe. Some of the broken ones could possibly be, be repaired. St. Peter's Week, 6th to the 14th of July. This year, the Church of St. Peter's Fair collections. If you tend to display your collection in the church, you will be pleased to let you know by July 3rd we have an allocated space. Would you just, what you display is up to you. It's teddy bears, postcards, bottle trains, vintage tools, whatever it is you have collected. If you have collected would like to put it on display, please contact the names supplied on the magazine, because they won't leave out names or numbers on the podcast. The church will be open for people to set up Monday 8th and Tuesday 9th from 2 to 5 p.m. Others times and by times arrangement. We do ask that people who like to display the collections give a couple of hours duty in the church at some time during the during the time the church is open. There'll be a rota to sign up to the door. When you come to set up your display, the church will open that week as follows. Wednesday, July, 10th of July, after the Pretty May ceremony, at 12.30 to 4pm. Thursday, 11th, Saturday to Saturday, 13th of July, 12 noon to 4pm. Battles and drinks and cakes will be served during lunch opening times. There will be a two course ploughman's lunch served on Thursday 11th at 12 noon at one or one thirty pm Two sittings. Tickets are priced £7.50 in advance, available from Bailey Osborne and Cal Weston. If you'd like to make a cash to, gift to the church during a fair week, you may be interested to know there will be a usual donation box outside church on morning of fair Wednesday and then inside church for the rest of the fair week. We are no longer able to get, take envelopes around the parish, but, we're not, but there will be envelopes by donation if you prefer to use an envelope and not put your money in the box. St. Patrick Holocombe, Margaret Stacy. And it, it was most unfortunate with Easter being late, our patriarchal festival of St. Patrick, June 14th, but celebrated on the nearest Sunday this year, June 2nd, not forgetting the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's coronation. Touch with many other events, end of first term, point to point, other horse events, or holidays, just to name just a few things, which meant we had low, we had lower numbers, but those who did attend, even so in Queen Tea, were well providable for. With ample refreshments, thanks to the generosity of the ladies of the Red Globe Corporation, and everyone went home with a goodie bag.
special St. Patrick's hymn dedicated to and naming our special patron, our special saint, the son of Reverend Burke, preached of thinking about the saint each one of us could follow and identify with in our lives. It is all an account of the coffee morning held in conjunction with the holes of church, I'm sure, you reported elsewhere. In addition, our grateful thanks to Kathleen Darling and the holes of church for sharing this annual event with us. Together, helping each other, as we have in many a year, sharing many events, money raising, music, music etc., etc., it's always been a strong bond. If you're looking forward to welcoming our par- parishes, benefits to the United Benefits Service on June the 30th for Holy Communion, and then Mark Butcher's I'll, I'll speak. News of Reverend Stuart Wilson, who comes to us regularly, is his on the hold at present from surgery, so please pray he must sustain his state and continue to improve. We are indeed indebted to him for his dedication every, every other month to provide us with H.C., along with Father Richard Freeman, whom he, we congratulate on be, becoming Royal Dean. Thank you to you both. St. Patrick Bridgerow, Crazy Church at Bridgerow in Primary School, every Wednesday, 4 to 5 pm. Everyone welcome. This is a formal church for crafts. St. Swithin Priory, Lifty Lois. Gift day at St. Swithin Priory is to be held on the weekend of July 20th and 21st. A week later than usual, the Doctor Clash of Sports Day. Once again, we are staging a flower festival, which the theme this year is a song. The children will be lovely as, as if many could produce a small garden on a plate. We have tried this in the past, and we have had some lovely entries, which the prizes will be awarded. Please support our gift day. Funds raised from this will go towards the upkeep of the churchyard. A churchyard is beautifully cared for. I know that many of you are grateful for this. Jesus at the lake. The all worship, the all age worship on the first Sunday of May had us listening to the catch of fish when the disciples let down the net at Jesus' command. When we all went back to the church and drew fish to represent ourselves, coloured fish to represent a friend or someone in need of, then folded paper fish which caused them to merriment, much merriment. Fish were then placed in the net and used as bases for prayers. The children, none under the age of 30, really enjoyed that, that interaction. We all went home uplifted. General news from the parish pump. St. Boniface set becomes patron Saint of Devon. Devon County Council has voted in favour for an amendment to adopt St. Boniface as its patron Saint of Devon. The decision was made in full council meeting on 23rd of May, with a majority of councillors voting in favour. St. Boniface was born in Crenton, and the Boniface Link Association has been campaigning to have him officially made a county patron saint. Campaign was backed by the Anglican Bishop of Exeter, Right Reverend Robert Hartwell, and the Roman Catholic Bishop of Plymouth, Right Reverend Mark O'Toole, as well as Crediton Congregational Church, Crediton Methodist Church, the Rector of Old Orthodox Parish, and the Holy Prophet Elias. Right Reverend Mark O'Toole said, I'm delighted to hear this wonderful news. I congratulate De- Devon County Council on the most monstrous decision. So it benefits as many lessons to teach us today. I hope the fact that he's now official patron Saint of Devon will inspire us to look more closely at life for this remarkable Devonian. Right Reverend Ronald Redwell said, It's a fantastic news. St. Boniface was an exceptional man for whom Devon can be proud, and we have been delighted to support the campaign. Having made patron saint of Devon. Since Benefice Day, June 5th, on June 9th, Sunday, 
9th of June, right Reverend Old O'Toole joined the lead a special service at Cranston Parish Church, along with Bishop of and the right Reverend Jackal, Jackie Siri. Following the service, there was a procession of statues that put the apart, followed by a second service, led by Bishop Mark and a Catholic shrine of Benefice. Credited and County Councillor Nick Way, who put forward the St. Boniface motion, said, I'm very pleased the Council's brought in a Benefice link organisation campaign to adopt St. Boniface, a page of St. for Devon. I'd like to thank those whose efforts are made this possible. This is great news for credit and area and the whole country as a whole. This year, the Bishop of Exxon has introduced a new initiative in the name of St. Benefice. The Bishop the Company of Benefice honours the people who have made a substantial competition, competition to the life of the church in Devon. One up to six companions of St. Boniface were admitted each year. This year there will be a service of investiture at Exeter Cathedral in September, at which the recipients were presented with a special medal designed by Devon priest and artist Father Andrew Johnson. Boniface was born with the Anglo-Saxon name Winif in the Crediton Circular 6 AD. He often referred to the first European. He studied the monastery in Exeter after travelling to Europe as a ministry. In, 70, in 772 AD, Gregory made him bishop of all Germany east of the Rhine. He was martyred in 744 AD in Dokum in Neverland and buried in Fludia in Germany. Church of England and its Elixir skill asks 75 questions in the first year. A year after its launch, the Church of England's award winning Alexa skill had been asked more than 75,000 questions according to recent data. Smart speaker skills were originally launched with prayers, explanations of Christian faith, and details where to find the nearest church, the local events, services, based on the location. The data is also reveals a trend of highest numbers of people using the skill in the evening. As a result of this, the church digital and church house publishing time, teams added a wider range of meal time, evening and night prayers during the, the year. More family prayers have been added and integration improved with a na- church near you. A national church finder to show maps of those to where the nearest church is. A range of videos have also been added, bring the Christian faith to life and showcase the social action of the churches across the country. In reading week, people ask the following questions by topical topic area. Read today's daily Easter programs of reflection, sixteen per cent. Say a prayer, forty per cent. Explore the Christian faith. 31%. Share a grace before a meal, 6%. Where is my local church, 7%. The skill is average 4.2 out of 5 stars on the NX store, with comments such as love it. Great example to the kids on how to pray. The Archbishop of York, Dr. John Sentamoyu, said, I aim, the aim of the NX skill is help users to know more of the love of Jesus Christ. The name of regular churchgoers and those employing faith to connect with God in another way at a time that's right for them. Aidan Harris, head of digital at the Church of England, said, We are pleased with levels of engagement in the first year of launching the skill, which is built in the just three months in 2018. The skill has been recognised a number of leading digital industry awards. To activate the Church of England skill, Alexa opened the Church of England. Full list of commands is available on the CSC dedicated Alexa page at https dot dash dash www dot church of england dot org slash our 
dash faith dash try dash church dash England's dash uh, Alexa dash skill. So Barry Reed Adamer backs major report on plastics from Tear Fund. A new report has revealed the first time that one person is dying every 30 seconds in developing countries from diseases and illness caused by plastic pollution, uncollected rubbish dumped by, or burnt near their homes. The new figures were released in no time waste, tackling the pu- plastic pollution crisis before it's too late by International Relief and Development Agency Tear Fund in collaboration with a conservative charity conservation charity, Flora and Flora, International FFI, an Institute of Development Studies and Waste Management Charity, Waste Aid. The look, report looks at the health impact of plastic pollution and rubbish on the world's poorest people for the first time. It found that every year between 400,000 and a million people at the other upper end of one person every 30 seconds are dying in developing countries from illnesses and diseases like diarrhea, malaria, cancers caused by living near uncollected waste and public plastic pollution. It report calls for a multinational company to fundamentally, fundamentally change their business models by committing to reporting the number of single-use plastic items they distribute in countries by 2020 and halving this by 2025. This report is one of the first to highlight the impacts of plastic pollution, not just on wildlife, but also the world's poorest people, said David, a vice president of Fauna and Flora International, said. It's high time we turn our attention full on to one of the most pressing problems of the day, averting the public pollution crisis, not only for the health of our planet, but for the well-being of people around the world. We need leadership for those who are responsible for introducing plastic to countries which cannot be adequately managed. We need international action to support the communities and governments most acutely, acutely affected by this crisis. Global 2 billion people, one in four, don't have their rubbish collected. This offers leads to disease and death. When rubbish is collected, it often builds up in the rivers and causes flooding, which leads to diarrhea and a host of infectious diseases. Often the only way to dispose of the waste is burn it in the streets, with resulting fumes being extremely damaging to health as well. In many countries... Doing the single, being the single verse, single largest source of carbon emissions, collaborating, combining to climate to climate. Dr. Ruth Falalono, Global Advocacy and Influential Director at Tier Fund, said, Tier Fund new rubbish campaign calls for action, urgent action. Well, multinationals, Coca-Cola, Nestle, PepsiCo and Univella ever. They sell billions of products and plastic use plastic packaging in poorer countries when waste isn't collected and the full knowledge that people will have no choice but, but to burn it, discard it in the waterways, or leave it among it. Other key facts in the port. Every second a double-decker busload of plastic waste is burned or dumped in developing areas. Global production emits 400 million tonnes of greenhouse gas each year, more than UK's carbon, total carbon footprint. An estimated 8 to 12.7 million tonnes of plastic is entering the oceans every year. Every 30 seconds, the UK throws only away only two, away two double-decker busloads of plastic waste. Living among plastic pollution and un- Collected waste doubles in ca- incident in ca- incidence of diarrheal disease. To read a report, log in to www.tearful.org dash not not time to waste. Small lines to grand a piano. The story is how the, after a concert hall, the broadcasting house are built, it was doubt whether the law would admit the grand concert grand. Try it, said somebody, but the music director objected to the ground. 
So it, it's a beautiful folk scene because stuck, got stuck in it when and be damaged. So they they instructed the carpenter to take measures and make an exact replica of the pyramid. This is done, and then they found they couldn't get the model out of the carpenter's shop. For that, they said to that from that, and it was at the Donald. Water is a tree to discover a, na- na- a bottle of natural water claiming to come from a s- false, fully protected from the environment, from Emma Coleman. Intelligence should be surprised to learn and guide to degree, course, vacancies, a place to study artificial. artificial Intelligence. You should be surprised to read the guide to degree course vacancies. A place to study artificial intelligence. Westminster from PC Holder Oveness. Main free collective nets. Dustpan, dustbin, and vacuum cleaner. So high days and holy days in July. Fifteenth of July, Saint Swithin or Swithin, die Saint on a rainy day. If St. Swithin is apparently the saint you can blame for so many summers. It's said if it rains on any special day, 15th of July, it rained for 40 days after that. It all began with St. Swithin, was made Bishop of Winchester in 18852 by King Ethel Wolf, Wolf of Wessex. It was an important posting where Westminster was the capital of Wessex, and during the ten years Swithin was there, Wessex became the most important kingdom of England. During his life, instead of wa- watching out people's summer's holidays and doubting down his spirits, Swithin seems to have done a lot of good. He's famous for his charitable gifts and his energy in getting churches built. When he was dying in 1862, he asked to be buried in the cemetery of the Old Minster, just outside the West Dole. If he had been left there in peace, who knows how many rainy day summers the English would have been spared over the last hundred year, thousand years. But no, he said, decided to move such women. I now in the 1960s, Winchester, have become the first monastic cathedral chapter in England, and newly installed monks wanted Swithin in the cathedral with them. And finally, on July, the 15th of July, 971, the bones were dug up and Swithin was transferred, plated, into the cathedral. I say they, some people claim to have a miraculous careers. Certainly, everyone got wet as the heavens opened. Usual, the, the, the unusual heavy rain that day, And in the days following, it was attributed to Paris and Swivin. Swivin was moved again in 1093 into the new Winchester Cathedral. His find was popped with places of pilgrimage throughout the Middle Ages. The shrine was destroyed during the Reformation, restored in 1962. There were 58 ancient monument documents. The shrine was a popular place of pilgrimage throughout the Middle Ages. The shrine was destroyed during the Reformation and re- restored in 1962. There are 58 ancient dedications to, to swim in England. 25th of July, St. James the Apostle, Apostle to Spain. James and his brother John were sons of Zebedee, Zebedee, Zebedee the fisherman from Galilee, the sons of Tempanda, as the gospel writers describe. Impertinent characters and fiery tempers. James stands out of the three accounts. He is one of the three disciples to witness the transfiguration of Christ. Christ took him along with Peter and John to watch him in the garden and. Oh, see if you.
I'll do that bit again. Sorry about that. 25th of July, St. James the Apostle, Apostle to Spain. James and his brother John were sons of Zebedee, the fisherman for Galilee, the sons of Thunder, as the Gospel writers described their purchased characters and fiery tempers. James stands out in three accounts. He is one of the three disciples which, since the transfiguration of Christ, Jesus took him along with Peter and John to watch him in the garden of Gerathiamina. Finally, he went on to be the first apostle to die for the Jesus Christian faith when in AD 44, King Herod Agrippa put him to the sword in Jerusalem a part over time. Centuries following his death, James the conversation with the egressing of Spain, a powerful defender of Christianity against the Moors. Heyday the cult of St. Gaudi, called Postelia, was from the 12th to 15th century, and the pilgrimage of Colistamia became one of the most important of medieval Christendom. This is a time transformed with the iconography of James. His emblems became the Christians, became the pilgrims' hat, the scalp shell of the Costa Over 400 English churches have been dedicated to James. 29th of July, order for the king of patron saint of Norway. If you led a wild life before you converse, Version, then Olaf is your saint for you. Indeed, anyone who's done as much, could hardly match You've done, you could hardly match him. He was a big one, a pirate, a broned Baltic and Normandy, around 1015 AD, maiming and getting, stealing and destroying, feared by all. Then on one particular raid of Normandy, Olaf met his match. He boarded a ship with Christians on it. His first and it was converted to Christianity. The shock of this sent him in England off the ships to England, where he joined forces with Ethelred the Second. For a time, he soon, but he soon his infantry spirit was of, uh, obsessing itself, asserting itself. An ambition was born to return to Norway and convert the country to Christianity. Olaf was never man to do things weakly. He sailed to Norway and helped by his own military ability and a fight for his and a fight for his rival, seized power and came king. Once king, Olaf gave his subjects peace and security. He held up may made old laws and instead of their being or insisted on their just execution in knowing all bribes or threats. Above all, Olaf began to convert the country. He was helped by a number of Viking converts and English monks who were ministries to Norway. But the old paganism was strong in many places. As soon as the rebellion, Olaf was exiled in 1029 and died the following year in a battle to gain his throne. He was buried, but his story does not end there. For Christianity has established a foothold that will grow and grow. It's soon reported that the springs of healing water flowed from Olaf's grave and miracles happened. So Kunkwell, the English p- p- Bishop of Trudenkrem, held a, built a chapel on the site of his grave and declared him a saint. Olaf, Hmm. Olaf was never a man to do things weakly. weakly. He sailed for Norway and held up, helped by his own military ability, a fight of his rival, seized power and became king. Once king, Olaf gave his subjects peace and security. He made old laws and insisted that just execution, annoying all bribes or threats. Above all, Olaf began to convert the country. He has helped to build a number of Viking converts and English monks of ministries to Norway. But the old paganism was strong in many places, and soon there was a rebellion. Olaf was exiled in 1029 and bur- died the following year in a battle to gain his throne. He buried, but his story does not end there. But his story does not end there. Christianity has established a foothold that grow and grow. 
It soon reported that thick strings of hidden water flowed from all this grave, and miracles happened. So Grand killed the English bishop of Tottenham, built a chapel on the site of his grave, and declared him a saint. All this cult grew in popularity until by 1070 his festive day was celebrated throughout Scandinavia. He was popular in England too, with around thirty around forty ancient churches dedicated to it, possibly due to the benefactors of Viking origin. God in the arts Breach seen by Darius mindfulness seems to be the in the world word in the world where people are moving faster and faster. We are called to slow down to tend to the present moment and enjoy it its own sake. Whenever the pressures of work are family around. Christians it's called to live to simple and sacramental life. An invitation to tend to what is holy there in the front of us. And it might be a meal, a countryside, a piece of music, family, friends, a pet, a painting. They're all avenues of God's refreshing grace to touch us. In this month of July, we're probably planning your, our holidays. It may be this country or board. Sometimes a holiday can be a frantic rush. A journey in queues can be a mindful time where we can relax and allow the days to refresh and renew us. Degress has captured that sense of rest. Enjoyment in this painting of 1870, which is a natural gallery beach scene. He is famous for his studies of ballerinas and racehorses. He also is fan- fascinated by the advert of the snapshot camera. This painting is like a holiday photograph. We see a maid combing the hair of a young girl. A hat and swimming costume are nearby. We can see bathers in the distance when the shore m- meets the sea. Families and a dog, yachts and a steamer, they all captured in this moment. The book, the sky looks misty but warm, and for those on the beach, it's time to lie and relax, to bathe and swim, to, sim- to live simply, enjoying the sun above, the sun, sand beneath, the wilderness of the restful day. Calls, be patient, enjoy the good gifts of God, creation. Wherever we are on holiday this summer, I hope we bring... You hope we find time to savour the lights of the world around. So we see young and old doing exactly that in this painting. All in the month of July. It was 175 years ago, on 28th of July, 1844, a Gerald Manley Hopkins, British poet and Jesuit priest was born. hundred years later... A hundred years ago, on July, 20th of July, 1919, Sir Henry, Edward Henry, was born. His new museum in Mountaineer, an Antarctica explorer, along with Sherpa Mountaineer, takes the Norgay, were the first two people on to conquer the Mount Everest, died to 2008. And 90 years ago, on 3rd of July, 1929, the phone rubber was vented by British scientists, E. A. Murphy, in, at Dumbler, latex development with disabilities. Hmm. Hundred years ago, the twentieth of July, nineteen nineteen, that Sir Henry was born. This new New Zealand mountaineer and an Antarctica explorer, along with a Sherpa mountaineer, chasing Norway, were the first two people to conquer Mount Everest, died 2008, 90 years ago, 3rd of July, 1929. That foam rubber was invented by British scientist E.A. Murphy at Dumlock, Low Tex Developments Laboratories. 80 years ago, the 9th of July, 1993, Winston Churchill, 1939, sorry, a Winston Churchill, urged the governments of France, Britain and France to form a military alliance with the Soviet Union. I did that one again. Eighty years ago, 9th of July, 1939, at Winston Churchill urged the governments of Britain and France to form a military alliance with the Soviet Union. 
75 years ago, 20th of July, 1944, that the July plot took place, the German resistance movement attempted to assassinate Adolf Hitler in Berlin and removed the Nazi party from power in a coup. The attempt failed, the movement's central figure, Klaus von Stuffenberg, was executed the following day. At 65 years ago, on the 5th of July, 1954, the BBC launched the first daily TV news programme in the UK. Fifty years ago, the 1st of July, 1969, a Prince Andrews was invested. Fitz Charles was invested as the Prince of Wales. After 50 years ago, on the 21st of July, 1969, that the man, astronaut, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Ed, Edwin Buzzman Aldrin came the first people to walk on the surface of the moon. 25 years ago, on 21st of July 1994, that Tony Blair was elected leader of Britain's Labour Party. He became Prime Minister in 1999. 97, sorry. Prime Minister in 97. 20 years ago, on the 1st, 1st of July 1999, the Scottish Parliament was officially opened. 10 years ago, on the 31st of July 2009, Sir Bobby Robson, British footballer manager, died. He played for and managed several teams, and managed in this team between 19, 1982 and 1990. July 2019, letter from St. James, the least of all. The Reverend Dr. Gray Bowness continues his letter to Uncle Eunice. Happily, the Church of England still retains some singular parish clergy. Take the parish of St. James, the least in the county of C, for example. The early Anglo-Catholic vicar, Eunice, continues his correspondence to Darren, his nephew, a low church curate, remained recently ordained. On the delights of the parish, Jumble Cell. The rectory, St. James, the least, my dear nephew, Darren. Yes, ma- of the re- rehanging of the bells in our church. Tower came with great shock. The church council discussed fundraising at length. Someone suggested selling part of the rectory garden with a building. Another was getting 200 visitors to loan of 5,000 each jump with a vest of free. Then Miss Friends suggested holding a jumble cell. Jumble cell won, mainly because it was achievable without a great fight. And also, everyone I know opportunity to see what their neighbours think of as junk. Expensive articles are set, brought with an ostentatious show of modesty. With everyone was sorting donations, genuine jumble such as odd plates or blankets, and mysterious kitchen gadgets were left at the church door in the dead of night. On the day of the dinner cell, our helpers were ready beyond. Behind wobbly tables, stacking high with stuff, had the clothes, had the table collapsed, half the congregation would have been smothered. Little Miss Favor, Favor, um, was having a wonderful time, flitting from table, flitting from table to table like a woolly bumblebee, knitting herself out for the, another year. When the doors opened and the customers poured in, I realised that the Italians must have felt like when they saw Hannibal with his elephants pouring down the sides of the Alps. It was then the metal of our ladies really showed. They were tremendous, haggling at great length over whether if something worth a ten pound should go for ten p or eleven p. I noticed they were used to riding with the hounds, them seemed best able to control the crowds even if they occasionally tend to regard the customers as the fox. As it happened, the youth club were going pot holding that day, so most of the teenagers bought complete sets of clothing for a tempe, which would have been dis- discarded afterwards. But I wondered what these their clothing cra- structure would think of teenagers arriving dressed in dinner jackets and tweed skirts. Two days of prepara- preparation... 
yielded a battle that was over in less than an hour. He emerged bloodied but unbowed, with only a few, with only scrapes of a gumball left. Then it was home for first, for 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 a bath, a strong whip, restoration, and on his step, the first step of saving the bills had taken only, all, only another. 2,500 jumble cells which have reached our target. Indeed, the only joy note of the day was that to discover somebody with a peculiar sense of fun had put a note on my car, sold to be collected later. Your loving uncle, you, you, you yes. I am, um, thank you for listening to the audio version, edited version of the Benefice magazine, Holes of the Benefice magazine. I'll get you know, the title in a minute. A Holes of the Benefice magazine, July 2019. The parish is the United Benefice of the Holes of the Bridge Row, Holocomb, Plywoodby, with Pens, Wens, Pens, Crens Week.